how to explore Asheville and Asheville area. Hi, this is Elena Kavrigin with Nest and Dolls Realty powered by EXP Realty here in Asheville, North Carolina. If this is your first time on my channel and you want to know everything about living, breathing, working, going to school, having babies, uh, parking, groceries, anything about Asheville and surrounding areas, you need to hit that subscribe button and hit a little bell to get notified every time I make a new video. Big shout out, huge thank you to everyone who's been reaching out to me, who are still reaching out to me on a daily basis. Last year was a complete blast. I personally helped 30 people who found me on YouTube relocate to Western North Carolina and my team helped about six more people because guess what? We had to grow. We have more people on our team and we're growing and expanding our services to people who are moving to Western North Carolina. So huge thank you. We appreciate each and every one of you. If you need any kind of help relocating to the Asheville area, to Western North Carolina, give me and my team a shout and you can reach out to us by phone or email or text. The contact information is right here. We got your back when relocating to Asheville, North Carolina. I always tell everyone that you can read everything you want on internet. You can watch all of my videos, you can watch any other videos, but nothing will replace you actually coming here and seeing for yourself. Seeing, smelling, hearing, you know, nothing will replace that. So I always encourage everyone to check it out before you move, before you make a decision, if possible. I know it's not always possible, but that's my, you know, general advice to everyone. With that, let's be honest, a lot of people who are moving to the area are not interested in being in Asheville or in Asheville proper. Some people don't want to be anywhere near Asheville. But for the purposes of this video, I want to use Asheville as a reference point and talk about areas around Asheville and the best approach exploring it. I have a lot of people who reach out to me and ask me, okay, so we are interested in this and that. We're looking for this or that in the community, in the area, in town. So what would be the best way, best approach to explore the area while we're here and have, you know, make the best use of our time. I've been making a lot of videos about Asheville, Asheville area, breaking down different parts, areas and stuff like that. And the purpose of this video is to have kind of like an overview of everything. So you'll have everything in one place. For those who are interested in Asheville itself, I suggest checking out one of the first videos that I made about different parts of Asheville. I'm going to link it up right here. Also, it's going to be in the description. Asheville is basically, it basically consists of four parts, uh, east, west, north, and south. <laughs> so that video will have an overview of all those different parts of Asheville. Then I broke it down into four different videos about each part of Asheville. Don't judge me, some of those videos are older than others. Uh, I, I'm gonna make some new ones, I'm gonna update them some one day, but for now, that's a good reference. I'm gonna also link them up. Everything will be in the description as well. If you're interested in uh, maybe some walkable neighborhoods, there's a video about it right here, also within Asheville. Uh, another video that I made about, it's called, it was called Communities Around Asheville, and I guess it might sound a little misleading, so we have Asheville or city limits. Then this video about communities around Asheville is actually about all those little towns around Asheville, right outside of Asheville that don't have downtown. Those are places like Candler, Woodfin, Swananoa, Arden, Fletcher, Candler, I said that already. Um, anyways, so th that's the video about communities around Asheville. It's, you know, right outside of Asheville, city limits. Then Towns Around Asheville is the next video that I made. It's going to be linked up right here. It was a super popular video. That talks about towns. We're going farther from the center. It's like the next layer away from, the, from Asheville. Those towns have downtowns. 
Uh, the biggest one is Hendersonville South, and that's the second largest town in Western North Carolina after Asheville. And then we have places like um, Waynesville in Haywood County, then Weaverville, which is actually also in Buncombe County, Black Mountain East of Buncombe County, um, and and so on. So those, you know, we, we keep going outside of Asheville, farther from the center. So let's say you are staying in Asheville and you want to explore the second largest town in Western North Carolina, which is Hendersonville. And Hendersonville is in Henderson County. So you'll go south. If you want to explore everything kind of in that vicinity, so you can explore Hendersonville, Flat Rock, East Flat Rock, Edneyville, uh, what else? Fletcher, some of Mills River. Um, so it's all gonna be south of Asheville. Move south of downtown, south of Asheville, in Henderson County, it's gonna be right there. Everything's gonna be right there. Just make it a day trip, I would say, and explore everything. If you wanna move even more south from it, southeast to be exact, then you're looking into Polk County and Rutherford County. And that's more south, that's, it's pretty much South Carolina to me. <laughs> it's kinda, it's a little farther from Asheville. I'd say it's about an hour from um, the Asheville Center, just to give you that as a reference and so that you kind of have an idea where everything is and what I'm talking about. So it'll make sense to explore those areas together with Henderson County. So from Henderson County and Hendersonville, you can move to Polk County, Rutherford County, and uh, again, one of the biggest landmarks in Rutherford County is Lake Lure, Chimney Rock, those are big destination towns. And actually a lot of people like to live there. There's a lot of communities there, a lot of gated communities, a lot of rural land. So if you wanna be tucked away or close to the lake, that's where you need to be. Then it will probably make sense, you know, if you take in the same day to explore a couple different areas, to explore Henderson County and maybe Lake Lure area, or move Southwest and explore Brevard. Brevard is located in Transylvania County. It's one of the kind of farthest, I guess, farthest closest towns from Asheville. It's about 50 minutes from Asheville, depending again on where in Brevard you are. Uh, on average, it's about 50 minutes to an hour. Super nice area, a lot of outdoors, a lot of outdoor activities. It will totally make sense. There's a road that basically connects Brevard and Hendersonville, so you don't have to come back to Asheville. You can just kind of cut through and get to Brevard right away. On the way to Brevard or from Brevard to Hendersonville, you can stop by DuPont State Park and go for a hike, get waterfalls, especially in summertime, and just go on the hike. So that's definitely one day trip, you'll have more than enough things to do. Stop by for lunch somewhere in Hendersonville. There's a ton of, I mean, not a ton. <laughs> it's all relative, right? There's a lot of local restaurants and places to grab some lunch in Hendersonville, right on Main Street. So that shouldn't be a problem. Or you can do the same thing in Brevard in downtown. Cute downtowns in both towns. So day trip just i would just plan for the whole day to explore just those two areas or three if, if you want to go to lake lore <laughs> so let's move in the opposite direction let's go up north north of asheville we have woodfin that's right outside of asheville and then weaverville weaverville is another cute town it's probably i think it's the closest downtown to downtown is probably the closest to asheville about 10 15 minutes Cute downtown, Main Street type of downtown there. It'll make sense to explore everything north and that will include Weaverville, like I said. And then if you wanna keep moving more north, you can explore Mars Hill, Marshall. And if you wanna keep going and kinda move northeast, you can get to Burnsville, one of my favorite areas ever it's so beautiful there it's so accessible easy drive no traffic ah oh, beautiful keep going more east from burnsville you'll get to spruce pine and then i mean really that just that those areas can be one day trip so weaverville mars hill marshall uh, burnsville 
but if you quick and if you don't want to like spend too much time in either of those areas you can just go to spruce pine and keep going east and you'll actually get to lake james area old fort and then black mountain kind of come kind of go around asheville like this you know it's like you're moving north um and moving east and then coming from the from the east side from the far the far east side from Asheville. Oh, I hope it made sense. <laughs> that can be a day trip, but honestly, I would just plan, if you want to combine exploring, exploring the areas, exploring the downtown, maybe some neighborhoods, some communities, I would just stay in Weaverville, Mars Hill, Marshall, Burnsville. Um, and that would, be, that would be more than enough. If you just want to check out Burnsville area alone, and that would be Yancey and Mitchell counties. I mean, Burnsville is in the Yancey County, but if you keep going, you'll get into Mitchell County. Um, that area can easily suck you in and <laughs> because it's right next to Parkway again. Um, I mean, pretty much everything is next to Parkway uh, or along Parkway. So you can go to Burnsville, check it out, go to Spruce Pine, check it out, go to Little Switzerland, check it out, super cute little town with a resort there they have a restaurant um, it's not open right now it's gonna be open I want to say mm, April so it's open only like during warm, uh, the warm season you can look it up on um, online but little Switzerland is super cute and you can just drive back to Asheville on the parkway you can take parkway it's gonna take you like two hours but you can get back to Asheville through parkway beautiful ride so many overlooks i i mean i live in the area i've been in the area since 2004 and when i have a chance and i have enough time extra time i take parkway because it's so beautiful and i still stop at a lot of of those overlooks because it just takes your breath away it's not like nothing else i highly highly recommend if you're gonna go to burnsville take go back to Asheville or towards Asheville through Parkway. You'll thank me later. <laughs> but if you want to stay kind of closer to Asheville and maybe check out Weaverville more north, uh, on the same day it'll make probably sense to check out either Black Mountain, which is east of Asheville. You just hop on um, I-26, back on I-26, go through 240 through downtown and then hop back on um, I-40 and that's gonna take you to Black Mountain. Cute little town. Keep going more east from Black Mountain and you is gonna take you to Old Fort and to Lake James area. Another lake that's super close to Asheville, a lot of vacation homes, um, so you can check it out and see for yourself. Or if you're not interested in going east from, uh, you know, north from Waverville, you can go west West of Asheville, we have Canton and Waynesville. And I covered those towns in one of those videos about either communities around Asheville or towns around Asheville. Waynesville, super cute, little town, Main Street type of downtown, beautiful. Local stuff, local restaurants, places to eat, stores. Oh, they, I love it. Anything outside, the farther you go from Pretty much any of those towns around Asheville, if the farther you go from the center, the more, you know, rural it becomes or can become uh, or country, countryside like. It can take a whole day just to explore one or two areas. So, but I think that would make the most sense. When you are getting ready to explore Asheville and the Asheville area, be prepared to drive a lot. Uh, when you look at distances from town to town or from whatever one location to another it might not look like a long distance but because we don't have flat a lot of flat land <laughs> we have a lot of windy curvy mountain roads and it typically takes you longer to cover any kind of mileage on those roads um, there might be slower traffic on them if there is any traffic but be prepared to drive a lot so that's why I wanted to break it down and give you kind of, you know, what would make sense so that you're not going back and forth because you're just going to be wasting a lot of time. So 
use your time wisely. Reach out if you have any questions to me and my team about best ways to explore the area that makes sense to you, you know, based on your needs and your interests and stuff like that. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this information useful. Check out some more videos about Asheville, surrounding areas, what it's like to live in Asheville, cost of living, anything like that. Check them out right here. I'm gonna link them up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the little bell to get notified every time I make a new video. And I will see you next time.